This is Atlanta model Ivy Gunter. Riches. So is this. Where'd you get that suit? So is this. Actually, I was trying to hide the fact of having a swelling, swelling leg from this photographer. And uh, we had done a shooting, and it came up in the darkroom on a print. And she said, look, you know, uh, there's some, there seems to be something sort of strange, you know, about this leg. We took x-rays that morning, and uh, it, <laughs> I got the most unexpected news I'd ever had in my life, and that was that I had an osteosarcoma tumor, and uh, that the only alternative I had to, uh, you know, getting rid of the tumor or whatever was to amputate my leg uh, just above the knee. So that's what we did. Now, after monthly chemotherapy that's made her sick, lose her hair, and once had her five, eight and a half frame down to 100 pounds, now, Ivy says, her main problem is that having one leg has slowed her down. But it will not, she says, keep her from her work. I'm anxious to get back out on the runway and uh, have no qualms about getting in front of a camera again, uh, with or without my hair. <laughs> she's testing for two modeling jobs tomorrow. And she's upset that a scheduled chemotherapy will keep her from being in her first fashion show without wig. Going through all of this, whether you have beauty or brains or if you can talk or whatever, things change. And my values have changed a lot, and I've put a lot of things in perspective. My priorities are a hell of a lot different than they used to be. Changes have grown from being mistaken for a mannequin in a department store, from being called a Barbie doll by some unthinking teenagers. And even though the despised but necessary chemotherapy will continue, Ivy will be the first to tell you. Her new wig is being delivered tomorrow, and nothing is going to defeat her. I've already been water skiing. Uh, I've already played golf with my dad. And this weekend I went dancing uh, Saturday night. So, I mean, I guess it all depends on really what I want to do. <laughs> you know. Hank Phillippe, Action News.